Hello friends. Did you know that Atlantic herring, one of the most abundant fish species in the world, can form giant fish clouds as large as 4.8 km thurs with millions of fish gathered together? These schools of fish are not only a beautiful natural phenomenon, but also the foundation of an important fishery industry in New England and Canada's coastal provinces. Join me to learn about this wonderful fish and see how it is caught. Atlantic herring, also known as Clupea herengus, is a small fish belonging to the Clupidae family, but has a great influence in the ocean. They have elongated bodies, up to 45 centimeters long, and weigh about 1.1 kilos. They eat zooplankton, such as coat pods, krill, and small fish. Atlantic herring has a wide range, from the Gulf of Maine and Gulf of St. Lawrence to the North Sea and Skagerrak Strait. They prefer cold water and often live in shallow waters near shore, where they gather in large schools. On quiet days, you can see them from afar through small ripples or through bioluminescence at night. Atlantic herring plays an important role in the marine ecosystem. They are a key link in converting zooplankton into food for higher animals, such as whales, cod, sharks, seals, and seabirds. The existence of large Atlantic herring colonies is an integral part of the ocean ecosystem. Not only that, Atlantic herring is also an important food source and brings economic value to thousands of fishermen and coastal communities. The Atlantic herring fishing industry began in the late 1800s and flourished from 1960 to 1970, with a record in 1966, when the total catch reached more than 4 million tonnes. In particular, Norway leads the production rankings with nearly 1,200,000 tonnes of fish. However, overfishing has led to a significant decline in fish numbers and seriously affected the marine ecosystem. Since then, the Atlantic herring fishing industry has established a management plan and allocated annual fishing quotas. So are you curious how people can catch millions of tons of Atlantic herring every year? Starting to gain popularity in 2011, the method of catching Atlantic herring using seine nets has created significant mutations and efficiency compared to old methods such as using gill nets and traps. The evidence is that until now, this method is still one of the top choices in the Atlantic herring fishing industry. The process of catching Atlantic herring begins with preparing the seine net, which consists of a long net attached to a floating line above the water and a submerged line below to create a net wall surrounding the fish. Purse rings hang from the lower edge of the net, through which a purse line made of steel wire or rope runs, allowing the net to be cinched closed.
fishermen use a small boat called a skiff to tow the net off the drum. The main fishing vessel, Perse Sina, moves in a circle around the School of Atlantic Herring to set the net. Once the circle is completed, the skiff brings the messenger rope back to the main vessel and the process of closing the net begins. By pulling on both ends of the purse line, fishermen close the net, creating a large purse that traps the school of fish. At the same time, they may haul in the net from the bow to reduce the size of the purse, ensuring the fish are tightly enclosed. When the purse rings are pulled up while the purse line remains threaded through, they are placed on hairpins or a ring stripper to facilitate wrapping the net onto the drum. As the net is retrieved, the stern of the boat tends to swing in a circle until the net is almost entirely hauled in. Finally, as the net is almost completely hauled in, the drum can be used to tighten the net further and concentrate the fish. Using this method, fishermen can catch Atlantic herring efficiently and safely with fewer crew members and at a faster net retrieval rate compared to traditional methods. After catching Atlantic herring, the fish processing process includes many important steps. First, the fish are sorted and pre-cleaned to remove unwanted species and impurities. Once ashore, the fish continues to be pre-processed, such as disemboweling, removing internal organs, and washing. Fish can be filleted, packaged, and stored in the freezer. Then, the fish is transported from the boat to the processing plant or place of consumption. This careful processing ensures the quality and safety of herring from the moment it is caught until it reaches the consumer. Have you ever wondered why sardines are considered a superfood? These little fish are not only delicious, but also bring countless health benefits. Imagine you are sipping a piece of crispy grilled sardine, feeling the natural salty taste of the sea and the greasy taste that melts in your mouth. Are you excited? Sardines are commonly found in tropical and temperate waters. The places with the richest sources of sardine include the Mediterranean and the seas around Japan. In 2023, worldwide sardine consumption will reach about 3.9 million tonnes. This significant volume reflects high demand for sardine. The Asia-Pacific region has emerged as the largest market for sardines, both in terms of production and consumption. This dominance is due to the region's rich culinary tradition with sardines, its extensive coastline, and its strong fishing and processing infrastructure. The story of the sardines' journey begins in the deep blue oceans, where fishermen use special draw nets to catch these tiny fish. 
Have you ever wondered how this process works? Let's explore. The fishermen set out to sea on sturdy ships, ready to face the waves and winds. When they discovered a school of sardines, they quickly dropped a seine net into the water, surrounding and collecting thousands of fish at the same time. The scene when the full net is pulled up is majestic. The sardines sparkle in the sunlight, creating a vivid picture in the vast ocean. But did you know, the sardines' journey doesn't stop here. There are still many exciting things ahead. As soon as the sardine fish is pulled from the sea, the classification process takes place immediately and urgently. Fishermen use sophisticated techniques to classify fish based on size and health status. Only fish that are healthy and of standard size are selected. Once selected, the sardines will be immediately put into the cooling process. Ice tanks and a modern refrigeration system on board will ensure that the sardines are kept at the ideal temperature to maintain freshness. Next, the sardines will be transported from the ship to the processing factory. A modern transportation system with trucks equipped with refrigeration equipment will ensure that sardines maintain their freshness upon arrival At the factory, sardines will continue to be inspected again to ensure that no fish are damaged during transportation. They are then processed into various products such as canned sardines, fresh sardines or ready-to-cook dishes. This process not only ensures that you receive the freshest sardines, but also demonstrates the meticulousness and professionalism of the fishermen and factory staff. Every step in the process from the sea to your table is performed with care and attention to ensure that the sardine retains its natural flavor and highest nutritional value. The sardines are layered into each tin box with natural spices such as salt and olive oil. The canning process is an important step with sealing, steam locking and heating to ensure optimal preservation and the fresh flavour of the fish. Finally, after the sardines have been heated and cooled, they are quality checked and packaged, ready for distribution to markets around the world. This process not only ensures freshness, but also highlights the natural flavour and nutrition of this marine fish, rich in omega-3 fats. Join us as we explore this journey step by step and learn how sardines from the sea become delicious dishes on your dinner table. Hop aboard a sardine fishing boat and discover adventure on the high seas. On ships reaching far offshore, crews constantly work hard to bring back the freshest sardines. This is not just a job, but also a journey full of adventure and wonder on the vast ocean.
From dawn to dusk, every day on the ship is a new challenge. The sailors teamed up and threw their nets deep into the seabed, waiting for large flocks of sardine to swim into the net. Sardine fishing nets often have a lightweight, flexible structure that makes them easy to cast down and pull up from deep on the seabed. With small, dense holes, it helps prevent the escape of small sardines and provides a large and diverse catch. When the net is thrown down, the fishermen wait, focusing on every small movement of the sea below. Each time the net is pulled up, it is a gentle and emotional battle with the hope of a rich and valuable catch of fish. Do you know why anchovies play an important role in the world culinary revolution? Since 2,000 years ago, anchovies were used by the Romans to make fish sauce, an important spice in their cuisine. To date, anchovies are not only a popular ingredient, but have also become part of the culinary cultural heritage in many countries. So how are anchovies exploited and become one of the most economically valuable fish in the world. Let's explore that with me. Anchovies, with their slender shape and sparkling silver luster, have an average length of only 2 to 15 centimeter. They often live in colonies in warm, shallow waters near shore appearing commonly in oceans such as the Atlantic, Indian and Pacific Oceans. What's more special, anchovies are not only popular for their nutritional value, but also for their unique flavour. When used in the production of fish sauce, seasoning for pizza, salads and many other dishes, This unique flavour not only enriches the palate, but also makes each dish more special, from a light meal to traditional dishes of Italian and Spanish cuisine. Starting around the beginning of the 20th century, the anchovy fishing industry began to develop strongly with the advent of modern fishing techniques. Trawl nets and seine nets have replaced traditional methods, allowing the exploitation of anchovies in much larger quantities. At its peak in 1971, anchovy exploitation output reached 13.1 million tonnes, and Peru led the way, accounting for 77.9% of global production. Today, thanks to sustainable management measures, anchovy catch has decreased to between 6.2 and 6.8 million tonnes per year. The anchovy fishing season usually starts between mid-April and early May. Departure time of the boats will depend on weather conditions. At that time, the fishermen began to fully equip the necessary tools for the hunting trip. Indispensable are specialised nets to catch fish, water suction devices to help maintain energy and powerful lights. When approaching anchovy areas, fishing boats will begin casting nets to surround and catch the fish. The most popular method of catching anchovies 
is using a trawl net. Trawl net is known for its high performance, especially in catching anchovies on the sea surface and on the sea bottom. When the school of anchovies is surrounded by a net, crew members will work together to pull them up from the seabed, harvesting these nutritious fish. This is a technical and skilled process, requiring close coordination between crew members to ensure success in catching and harvesting fish. After being pulled up from the seabed, the anchovies will be immediately transferred to the ship to ensure freshness. Ships are often equipped with modern and specialized cold storage systems, such as, which help maintain the quality of fish throughout the journey back to shore. At the port, anchovies are quickly transported to processing factories. Modern cold storage systems are used to maintain the freshness and quality of fish throughout the processing process. Each step in the fish processing line requires professionalism and high technology, thereby providing consumers with quality and safe fish products, serving culinary needs in the best way. This is an extremely professional process and is done quickly to ensure the anchovies always maintain the best quality from the sea to your table. Do you want to know more about how anchovies are processed into a variety of culinary products? Anchovy fish is a rich source of nutrients and has many significant health benefits for those who eat it. They are rich in high quality protein, providing essential amino acids that help maintain and develop a healthy body. In addition, anchovy fish is also a rich source of omega-3 fatty acids, fats that are beneficial for the heart and nervous system. This helps reduce the risk of cardiovascular diseases and supports brain function. Besides, anchovy fish is also a rich source of vitamins and minerals such as vitamin D, vitamin B12, calcium and iron. These nutrients play an important role in maintaining a strong immune system, bone and blood vessel development, and in the body's metabolism. With its unique flavor and high nutritional value, anchovy fish is not only a delicious dish, but also an indispensable part of a healthy and balanced diet. This video ends here. Thank you for watching this video until the end. Please like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more videos. Hello and see you again in the next videos.